developing at six. Pirates pitcher Felipe Vasquez smiling as he walked into court today. He's accused of sexually assaulting a 13 year old girl, and a judge ordered him to stand trial on all charges against him. In Channel 11 News reporter Renee Wallace is live at six now with what Vasquez's attorney had to say about that smile. Renee? You don't see a lot of defendants walk into court to face these kinds of charges with a big smile, but that's exactly what happened here today. Even after he was ordered to go back to jail, no bond, that grin was still in place. Do you have anything to say? If Felipe Vasquez was worried, he certainly didn't look it. He was grinning ear to ear as he walked into criminal court to answer for allegedly having sex with a 13-year-old West Mullen County girl. We asked one of his attorneys about that smile. He has a very good attitude, but I think he's... Uh... You know, it's a very serious matter. I think he takes it that way. Once inside the courtroom, new charges were brought against the Pirates pitcher for what police said they found three graphic videos and seven equally graphic photos of the alleged victim in the nude. Images a state trooper in Greensburg testified were discovered on Vasquez's laptop and cell phone. The trooper testified when Vasquez was interviewed at his strip district department in September. He admitted to having sex with a girl in his car in Scottsdale and receiving nude photos. Photos and videos from the girl at his request. On cross examination today, Vasquez's attorney asked the trooper how many law enforcement officers were inside and outside Vasquez's apartment at the time, inferring Vasquez did not feel free to leave. After much back and forth between prosecutor and defense about Vasquez's ability to understand English at the time of his alleged admission to having sex with an underage girl, all charges were held for court. The defense fought for a $1 million bond and an electronic monitor. But in the end, the judge denied bail. I am very surprised at uh, how well he's handling things. He's a real pro. And tonight, the defense says it plans to appeal the judge's no bond decision. Reporting live in Westmoreland County, I'm Renee Wallace, Channel 11 News.